Hello everyone, this is Garrett and this is Penumbra Overture. Last time we played, I did things, got things, and then I went over here, which I didn't even show on the video because there was absolutely nothing but like one dog in the way of getting here, and that dog was barely in the way. So, I didn't even show you guys. Anyway, I do believe we have a vehicle key to jump. Even with the key, it's not too keen to ignite. There must be something wrong with the machine itself. Maybe it has something to do with this gasoline can I'm holding. Bloop. Bloop. The lid on the gas can is rest. Shut up, I have something thinking it's open or I'll be here for a long time. Uh, so. Nope. <laughs> okay. Light. <laughs> yeah, that might not have been the best idea. Broom. New flashlight. You, you? Wow, well, you're just being sarcastic now. That's very rude. Pickaxe. No hammer. <laughs> Clearly, the hammer is better than a pickaxe for getting a lid off of things. Yep. As my new friend might say, drink, you thirsty bastard. Right. I. Oh. You seek to find the truth behind all this mystery, and think it will set you free. But truth is relative, and relatives cannot be trusted to bring good gifts. What you seek lies in the shafts beyond this collapsing of the sky, and if you look closely, so do I. A century of days has passed since I saw this area last. The diseased ones sought to kill poor Red, but I took them on a wild poultry chase. They ended dead. They came from out the big metal door, but after all my years, I knew the caves more. Hide and seek, turn to seek and hide. And I buried them here beneath the solid rock sky. That was a beautiful poem. I want more friends like him. Right, let's, uh, for sure. It's strange, but hearing that digger finally running might be the most reassuring thing I've ever heard in my entire life ever in the entirety of re trying to read things, because... Hmm. I don't think I'm supposed to go in this direction. Maybe in this direction. What? Bye! Be free, my digger friend! Only you can save humanity! Only you. Only you. My trusty digger. You have done your job very well, but now I'm afraid, pat pat pat, I must leave you alone, pat pat, because you, my digger, have set me free into the world beyond. So now I give you this delicious fuel, and good luck with it. I'm sure you'll enjoy a new life with your fuel buddy, whom you may or may not consume in the days to come. Glow stick. It seems so strange now to have been guided like a blind man by a faceless stranger whose sanity was clearly waning, disposition unknown. For all I knew, this red didn't even have a disposition to speak of, just a seething mass of conflicting emotions. I knew that my radio-reliant friend must have been cocooned nearby, and perhaps in finding him, I would find myself one step closer to understanding what was going on. In just a couple of hours, I would find what I was looking for, and with it come out would come answers. I didn't realize this at the time, but the answers I found would be for questions I hadn't even asked. Like, why did I go here? This was not a very good idea. I was not dressed for this occasion. This looks bad. It's like an opening into hell. I've never been this da far down before. Wow. I wonder if these things are breakable at all. Come on. It doesn't look breakable, but you never know. Uh, okay. I made it past the first one. Good, great. Still probably shouldn't fall down there. Well, that was needless. Let's continue. I'm very loud on these things. Uh, not that I'm afraid something's gonna happen in this corridor. Ah, uh, there we go, three. Uh, what's that noise? 
Oh. Maybe I should leave. Maybe I should leave. Holy... Sandworm. Sandworm. We are dealing with a sandworm. Wait. Is it going to come again immediately? Or is it just going to make noise? Maybe I just didn't notice the noise the first time. Running to the door. I hope nothing's going to happen here. Oh no, it's a worm. I'll know that in a second. Is it gonna fall in here? Yeah, it is. Wait, how that thing was huge? But now it's in a hole. Right, that was fun. Let us continue onwards through this area. Surely that thing's not going to come back ever again. We are now... Oh, safe point. Okay. That's reassuring. Why wouldn't there be a safe point immediately after that one thing? Surely. What could go wrong? Yo. Are you behind this door? The door is sealed tight with no handle. How's it operated? I don't know. Ooh, hole. It must be my imagination. But it almost feels like there's warm air coming from down there. I could jump down the hole. I'm kind of tempted to jump down the hole. I kind of want to... Maybe there's water down there. There's no water down there. There was... There was no water. There was no water. Down the hole. Oh yeah, a mysterious voice from the world in the past and the world are gonna come and be free once I walk through that door every single time. Let's not die too many times, that really creeps me out. <laughs> Probably industrial refinement machinery. Rusted and useless now. Oh boy. <coughs> uh, right then, let's continue. Uh, really? I'm gonna have to run, aren't I? Probably. I'm gonna go with probably. There have to be worms here or spiders. That's spider eggs. Fantastic. Just fantastic. That's all I needed. The spiders really are the worst thing in this game. Uh, let's hope they don't hatch. That's my strategy. That's my game plan. Let's hope they don't hatch. Best strategy in the world. I like someone who's taking a shower or something. What's this? I can't see where the cables from this lever lead. Damn it. What have I done? Ah, oh, no. I turned on the alarm. Why did I do this? Why do I do these things? Why do I do these things? Is there anything over here? God, this is horrendous. Please tell me those spiders didn't see me. Please tell me those spiders didn't see me. Oh, uh, is this a time door? This is a time door. This is a time door. This is a time door. It's a time door. It's a time door. It's a timed door. It's a door that consists of timing. I have spiders chasing me. Leave me! Spiders, be my friends. Be my friends. Run. Ah, that was a very small area. <laughs> that was a very small but an incredibly tense area, but a very small area. It's a good thing spiders can't go through loading zones. With my remaining ear to the ground, I hear your trembling tootsies padding towards their final destination. Things come to those that wait, whether they want them or not. And soon I think your wait will be over. 
The great metal door in reality is calling you, just as the Reaper beckons me forward. I look forward to finally greeting you. I only hope I need not greet the Reaper Man first. What? Really? This looks like a place that has dogs. Or a worm. Nope, dogs. <laughs> That's dog music. That sounds like dog music. Hmm. I hope this is not going to be one of those places again. Which has me killing dogs for all of eternity. That's a dog. Do 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 yeah, you are. Yeah, you are. Well, I found this thing. Let's operate those valves in some way. Great. Uh. Shaft 13. That's clearly what I, where I'm meant to go. Yes. Shaft 13. Sounds like my best shaft. In my time of need. Mm -hmm. Yes. What's this? What are those tunnels? <laughs> <laughs> oh my. <laughs> right, let's try it again, I guess. More of those tunnels. I know what that means. I better not stick around here for too long. These rock like loose. I might be able to shift them, but they're more likely to bury me alive. Uh. I would really love to push this wall, this rock here. I would like that. I would not mind that at all. Would not mind that at all. Right, let's try to do this again without dying immediately. Let me guess. Yeah, that's the pit trap. Why is this place trying to kill me? Ah. So, is it really necessary that we have more than one of these areas? Is it really necessary? <laughs> uh, well, time. Oh, well, that's a good start. I haven't even seen an egg yet. I guess there's eggs in that direction. Oh, look. A spider killed me. Troublesome. I am bothered by this. Bother, bother. I hope there's no eggs in this direction. Oh no. Eggs. Let's hope there's no eggs here then. Oh look. There's more eggs. I am truly bothered by my current experience because this is generally not really the kind of place where I would wish to be when it comes to trying to get out into the world and not into a place with spiders in it. But this place does have spiders in it, which confuses me greatly, wherefore I am bothered by my current situation and truly hope that I do not end up in a similar situation as the one I am currently in. Forsooth, I will be more bothered than I am right now. For bloody sooth. <sighs> Where the hell am I? go. Where the hell am I supposed to go? Screw you, spider. Oh, bye then. Bugs. I guess I'll go here. Oh no, a spider is trying to attack me. I don't even care. <laughs> Damage boost. Damage boost. Oop. Nice. Perfect. Perfect. Fantastic. One might call it. I will go with fantastic. That was fun. I uh, I truly felt like the first area that did this didn't really serve the idea justice. So I'm glad to put in the second one. Because fun. This is how people have fun. 
This is how people enjoy themselves on their day-to-day -day lives. Friggin' spiders. I write this note in the knowledge that it may well serve as my last will and testament. Myself and three other miners have been trapped beneath the main shaft to the surface for what we believe to be the three days. But with no daylight and increasing dehydration, it's impossible to tell. The only thing keeping us alive is the hope that there could be a rescue team already on the way. We were all so positive at the start, but that seems so long ago. Renton was there at first to crack sometime during the first night. We all just lay there trying to sleep. Spider fucking jab slab flab. Oh, I went at the bad bad wording there, I guess. I deeply apologize. Deeply apologize. I'm gonna try it again. Where's my little notebook? There's only one spider? I could have probably taken care of that a little bit better, I guess, but oh well. I'm gonna open these things first for continuing to read. Okay. I am beyond pissed off. Beyond pissed off. I seriously am not in a good mood right now. Is this gonna help block anything? No, of course it isn't. What the hell am I thinking? Oh, uh, really? Really now? Let's push this thing. In that direction. Please be quiet now. I'm trying to just have a little fun in this area. <laughs> Unless my friends lie somewhere near you now. A friend in need is a friend indeed. But a friend that's dead is a poor conversation. May they rest in pieces. Ruptured, decomposing pieces. Thanks, Red. Helpful. Helpful. <sighs> Damn, looks like I might have been rooted up to the surface. Well, that's a problem, isn't it? That's such a problem. If only I had some kind of tool that could help me get through this. Or any type of explosives that would do the trick just as well. These pipes are dry. This whole place is dead. The water's collected as a shade browner than it should be. Offensive, but okay. Um, Table. Chair. Not a table. It was a chair. Oh, hey. You're hiding things from me. Very rude. Very rude. Is there anything else you wish to hide from me, sir? Like this beef jerky? Mm. 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 Ooh, booties. I could truly use a new pair of booties for my journeys. I'm gonna read that other thing first. Where's that other thing? Nudes. Uh. We all just lay there, trying to sleep through the sound of his wailing and sobbing, trying to pretend his problems weren't our own, and that he was weak for having given up so soon. The fact was, he was dealing with the situation pretty realistically. Our chance of survival gets smaller every hour. Since then, he hasn't said much, but the despair that gripped him seems to have spread through the rest of us like a cancer. We are such fools to ignore the foreman, and he paid for that with his life. When he started putting security coat locks on all the doors, we thought he was crazy. There's only us down here, after all, so why should he need coats to access the places he's we're all allowed to go? He gave us all the code sheets, which made us swear to keep it safe. Huh, mine hasn't left my locker more than once. It's still there, it doesn't get much safer than that. We asked him who we were keeping them safe from, but he never said. It was a pain in the arse from what it was what it was. I had to trek all the way to that crazy biologist's office in the mining room this morning just to check the code for Section C. But he obviously knew something about these mines we didn't. Some of the guys started acting weird. Not crazy weird, just not normal. That didn't stop a couple of them being carted off to mainland Europe for psychiatric help. It was no one I knew well until the incident three days ago. We were in chemical storage when one of the guys who had seemed pretty straight just started shouting. It wasn't a normal kind of shouting. It, I'm not any kind of wordsmith, so I just don't know how to describe but the noises he was making. We'll just have to stick with not normal. Anyway, he managed to hurt a couple guys, damage some equipment before we got him under control. Nothing serious. When we released him, he seemed okay. 
face, but all right. Didn't really know where he was. Far away look in his eyes. That look, I'll remember that for the rest of my days, even if there aren't many more of them. His pupils weren't dilated. They just seemed to take up more space than should be possible. Black and horrible. Then he snapped and grabbed one of the high-rated explosive packs. We knew what he intended, saw it in those eyes. Those that could make a run for it, but the guy was already bearing down on Foreman. He didn't have a chance. There were five of us who made it to the exit shaft. Only four survived the explosion. The elevator shaft collapsed on in on us, and now it's anyone's guess how many there are still trapped on here. The last thing I saw was those eyes. It seemed like they were staring at me and me alone. Miles Staten. And an empty page, okay? Fair enough. Alright, what's this? Blank notes. What? That doesn't seem right. I don't know, but as far as I can tell, there's no code written on it. Hmm. Oh, it's in my inventory. Piece of paper, blank for dismiss of dirt. Maybe this is one of those. Nope, that's not one of those. <laughs> okay. I'll use the saw. I am going to combine this with every damn possible item I have in my entire inventory. Maybe beef jerky will make the code appear. This is not... I have 16 flares. Hmm. This doesn't look like it does anything. Hang on. I wonder if there's anything I can use it on. It's a changing room. This must have been close to the main entrance of the mine. How many people worked down here? How many people died? Very good question. Hmm. Okay. Rat. Rat poison? Maybe? Hmm. Maybe I can use it on this water. Nope. Maybe I can use it on this not water. No, I guess not. Um, hmm. No. Let's see. I'm going to read the thing again. Uh, something over here. Uh, he gets this coach sheet, makes what he said, the miners is going to lock still there, does it so we're all keeping this information in the was a pain in the ass, and was a crazy biologist office in the mining room this morning just to check the code. Biologist office in the mining room. I guess that is my next destination. And I guess that is something I'm going to do the next time we play this game. Because I am actually going to take a small, tiny break. So... I hope you enjoyed it thus far, and the next time we play, we are going to the crazy biologist's office, because he is completely insane, and a biologist, and that saved the game. So yes, hope you enjoyed it so far, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.